This is Henry Halliday with podcast number five. I'm glad you could join me today. In this episode, I will cover a quick update of current technologies, particularly as impacted by COVID-19 and as a worldwide pandemic and some other technology directions have changed. Let's look across the board of technologies. Financial efforts by the government to establish and release COVID relief number two is still slow in reaching all affected people and businesses. Manufacturing, restructuring processes, procedures and physical layouts to provide safe working environments is beginning to show slow progress. Business. Restructuring to using work at home appears to be working, but long-term impacts are still not resolved. A mix is likely to persist for some time to come. Transportation. Again, restructuring is underway to reduce effects of reduced volume to travel and what should be the long-term plan for all modes. Medical. How to provide medical care and mass inoculation quickly, effectively, and safely for millions of people still work in progress. Security. New global threats to secure sites have been recognized by the government and now attempts to prevent future violations underway. Communication. Continuing 5G installation integration are underway, but a mix of 4G and 5G is still likely for some time to come. Aerospace. How to reintroduce safe and cost-effective worldwide travel. How to utilize new data from technology involving the new Mars probes is underway. Computing. There's a continuing evolution of processor speed, new sensors, wireless connectivity, and cloud computing and display configurations that are rapidly evolving. And now to a more in-depth look at what's going on across technologies. Financial. Worldwide increased government spending to support loss of jobs, increased security, widespread medical supply, and facility support due to COVID-19 is stressing resources. Closing business means no jobs, no salaries, and thus no spending. Mandatory stay-at-home changes the social nature of society and results in a virtual environment for most people at home via the internet. Stressing people and internet structure links all security. This hurts the more isolated rural communities where less well-off and other shortcomings are not up to date with technology. Some help is being provided for schooling at home through remote learning, which only works where infrastructure exists and computing resources and budgeting allows a complex problem. Factories, stores, and distributors are trying to evolve their facilities and processes while at the same trying to survive with less income. Secure transactions. With a tremendous increase in internet, vulnerability increases and users assessing additional protection, including device signatures, two-device verification, and blockchain messaging. Users need to assess their own passwords and link security, especially over Wi-Fi cafes and general messaging like leaving or returning times. Manufacturing. Factory. Rapid adaptability, changing production models from suppliers, parts to 3D printing on site is occurring. Cobots see increased utility to reduce contact spacing requirements since cobots are not affected and don't carry germs typically but can be obviously sprayed down to prevent any spreading. Cleaning, part, component, assembly, packaging, Movement is increasing robot usage. How to improve safety through multiple sensor integration like automobile use of collision avoidance, object detection through radar, acoustic, and proximity sensor integration. 3D visualization advances are permitting increased utility for part sorting, part integration, and quality assurance. Business, safe spacing. Working from home to reduce increased office space required for safety. 
This may be the new environment for many office workers, buyers, technical support personnel, whereas security inner office communications or issues on reimbursement for home space may be also an issue. Office facilities. All businesses are having to evaluate what is an office environment? What about the typical bullpen? Where are my employees best utilized? Is my office environment safe? Does the air get adequately purified? Is the cleaning procedure currently adequate? Distribution. Driverless delivery is increasing pressure for driverless vehicles where large loads over long distances are practical, including truck caravans. Other transportation. Every mass transportation mode has been affected, and even personal transportation, which involves sales, repairs, and maintenance, are being restricted. Increased separation within vehicles due to decreased ridership for mass transit improves the case for smaller, adaptable configurations and potentially driverless vehicles. Electric vehicles. Many manufacturers are projecting models with increased mileage per charge, up to 200 miles. But solving inadequate community charging stations and the price of batteries has slowed due to COVID-19. Self-driving vehicles, testing continues, but issues remain on how to have automated systems adapt to new conditions like humans do or should do. The slow implementation of new wireless 5G systems within city remains an important issue for cross-vehicle communication. The need to know what every vehicle is doing at the same time is still an elusive key. Medical. Focus is shifting back to routine and optional procedures from COVID-19 emergencies taken for medical solutions to other viruses, cancer, and human ailments. Increased robotic assistance, COBOTs, in hospitals has helped reduce the pressure in an overextended staff by addressing non-essential tasks, intercommunications between staff members, distribution of supplies, in helping to provide a more sterile environment. The first practical hand has been now demonstrated. Using new micromotors and microsurgery to attach electrodes to nerves in the arm and new embedded pressure sensors allows the mechanical hand to function very much like a normal human hand and has now been demonstrated. A medical specialty or EMT medical emergency team is one area that the usual environments where workers may find victims, burning buildings, earthquake wreckage, rocky terrain, and other non-uniform conditions. Help is on the way with mobile robotic assistance, not on wheels, but walking on multiple legs. Prototypes have been demonstrated such that a robot can manipulate stairs boulders and other irregular terrain which may contain hazardous conditions to humans. Controls could be automatic with wireless connection to video cameras and remote guidance or pre-programmed routes uh, using GPS where available and visual assistance as needed. Applications are extensions of Robotic explorers, such as used on interplanetary explorations, such as Mars. Security. COVID-19 has directly increased home internet use as employees are working from home, schooling is performed at home, shopping from home has also increased due to the isolation requirements and socializing is now via internet. This has increased security issues such as scamming, password compromising, and fraudulent offers. All users need to be constantly aware of potential security violations. For communication, the increased use of video conferencing, home-based order taking, processing, and initiating, including invoicing, placing, and tracking orders, such as the business office with less physical interaction. Office conferencing 
either by phone or by video as needed, increase the need for security as a must for obviously proprietary reasons. Call blocking, unidentified caller ID, unidentified spam numbers are increased under increased surveillance and must be employed to prevent compromise of security communications. Aerospace. My previous employer, Boeing, has a large commercial component. Airplanes at times more than 50% of Boeing business experienced a huge loss like the rest of the airline business, accentuated by the 737 MAX issues and resulted in tens of thousands of employee layoffs. Looking to the future, in the past, mass transportation has focused on minimal customer spacing to provide a cost-efficient way to move people and now has to consider not only COVID-19, but any new communicable diseases. Cleaning procedures are being reviewed, particularly with air filtering and purification and modified as required. Initial profits may be reduced, but better avoid another COVID-like result. In the meantime, Boeing has a strong defense and space segment, which is active in supplying new orders for products to all military branches. Other technology companies are concentrating on the commercial sector where parts, subsystems, and factory integration are strong demand through increased automation, robotics, and communication connectivity. This is also particularly true in the auto industry where conversion is taking place from internal combustion engines to electric vehicles with batteries and electric motors that incorporate 5G and factory automation. Computing technology and architecture. I've not addressed this as a separate topic, but I thought it deserves special mention since computing has become such a significant part of our lives from cell phones, desktops, laptops, appliances, transportation and communication, not only has computing speed increased, but so has the information throughput. Physical size has been significantly reduced while increasing complexity has been introduced to support all electronic devices and applications. Remote devices now include both onboard processing and remote sensing and the need for low power consumption. We are now more interconnected than ever before, including working, learning, shopping, and living. Integrated optical communications within devices is increased. Inter-device speed is making inroads and aid system throughput and sensor to user interfaces. 5G helps. Well, that's about all it is for now. See you in the next podcast. Thank you much. Bye now. Thank you.